guys, welcome back to my garage. Um, this is a little test. I'm running uh, a DMM DYN4 AC servos on my Emco Turn 140 lathe. And uh, Terry Roop from Aero Controls had demonstrated uh, a way to get feedback. from the DYN4 AC servo drive into Acorn using its spindle encoder port. So I set that up on my machine and I ran the same test that Terry ran just to uh, see if uh, the position is being held and is accurate. So uh, I wrote a small G-code program that just commands a bunch of random moves and then there's a two second uh, pause in between some of them so we can take a look at the DROs uh, to see what uh, what they say and to see if they jibe with each other. Um, here you'll see X and Z. Um, I've got I've got the uh, encoder set to the Z axis DYN4 and then this is the uh, uh, spindle encoder port that's got a label on it that uh, will jibe. So if we command a move on Z, it should equal right here on uh, this label M board. So I'm going to take you around the back of the machine to control so you can take a look at how it's hooked up. Okay, you'll see there's a spindle encoder port on Acorn, and I'm using the Rev4 Acorn, by the way. And if you follow the cable, you'll see it's plugged into, kind of hard to see it, but that's the encoder output port on the DYN4 drive. Okay, so it just comes in and it goes into the spindle encoder port. Just showing you that that's hooked up. Okay, to get this to work, let me show you what I did. I went into setup just like Terry had showed. Config 137 and we went into machine and motor and what I basically did is uh, that spindle encoder comes in on Axis 5, that's what it's assigned to. So what I did is I replicated the motor revs per inch on Axis 5, and I also replicated the motor steps per rev on, uh, from, from uh, the Z axis down to Axis 5. So you'll see these are identical. So we're comparing apples to apples. It's that simple. And then of course I made a cable that went from uh, DYN4 to the uh, spindle encoder port on Acorn. So let's go ahead and run this little program here. Uh, it's already loaded. I just call it Z-axis test. But let's take a quick peek at the code. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's just a bunch of Z moves with some uh, G4 two-second pauses in between. So here we go. Uh, the max my machine will run is 295 inches a minute, so that's what we're running it at. There it is, the equal. So this is what Acorn is commanding, and then this is the feedback from the DYM4. They equal. And they equal the Z and uh, the M axis here uh, equal out. All right, that's it.